Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you today how to create an audio effects send in Cakewalk Sonar Producer 8. This is real easy to do in Sonar. Sonar is very powerful when it comes to the routing of uh, audio effects buses. I think that's one of the things that makes it really powerful. So what we're going to do today is we're going to send the audio that I've got on track one right here out to an audio effects bus that I'm going to go ahead and create firstly by right clicking on my master audio bus and I'm going to select insert stereo bus this has created a new audio bus for me I'm going to go ahead and give this a name we'll just call it FX bus now all I need to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to add an audio effect to the effect chain on this uh, new bus that I've created so I'm going to right click in the effects section go down to audio effect I'm going to go ahead and go to Cakewalk and let's just use the FX Reverb. The Reverb opens up. I can add as many effects as I want, of course, to my chain, but I'm going to keep the chain real simple today. Next thing that I need to do is I need to wire up my audio track to send it uh, to bus out audio to this FX bus that I've created. That's also real easy to do. All I need to do is go ahead and right click on the audio track that I've got right here go to insert send I'm gonna scroll down I'm gonna click on insert send assistant the insert send assistant opens up for me here and you'll notice in this pull down box next to send to existing bus I have a lot of different choices but I'm gonna go ahead and select FX bus that's the audio FX bus that I created I'm gonna leave everything else as it is hit OK and now you'll notice right here on the left hand side of my track inspector I've got a new entry for the FX bus and now I can change the volume being sent out to that FX bus. I can change the panning of, of it, of course. And I can also change whether it's pre or post fader. And now all I need to do is change that volume level that's being sent to the audio bus. I'll just leave this relatively normal, a little bit above zero. I don't really need to change the panning. And then all I need to do is change the uh, settings of my reverb that I've got applied to my audio FX bus. Doing that, I can send the audio from any track quickly and easily out into my audio effects bus, and I can add any effects that I would like to as many tracks as I would like in Sonar. I hope this has been useful to you guys. As always, email me at brian at obedia.com or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor.